All right, so once again, I'm gonna be showing you another commonly used Excel function that is very useful in reports, and it's called the average function. And just like how it sounds, it calculates the average of a group of values. So we're gonna add it here at the very bottom of our report in cell A13. I'm gonna type in average, or AVG for short. Click tab to go to the next cell, and we're gonna start by typing in the equal sign, and then average. Go ahead and give average a double click, Click the FX button to open our function arguments window, and we can see the definition of the average function returns the average of its argument, which can be numbers or names, arrays, references that contain numbers. So for our number one argument, we are going to select the cells that we want to average and click OK. So the average of our expenses for the month of January is 491. And we can select these cells, go down to our status bar, and the average is 491. So our function is calculating correctly. And from here, we know how to copy this function across the columns. So we're just gonna click and drag the fill handle to get the average for each month. So the average for January was 491. The average for February was 464. And lastly, the average cost of the expense for March was 484. More than likely, you will run into a situation where you will have to find the average of a range of numbers. And using the average function is a lot easier and a lot more efficient than building a formula that sums up all the expenses and then dividing by the count of expenses, like we did in one of the previous videos when we were talking about order of operations. So once again, very simple function to use, but it's also very useful. 